So business taxes, if we, if we uh, decrease business taxes, how, what's going to happen to the supply curve? Up, right? It's yeah. Go up. Mm, no, it'll go right. It'll go right. Say so right and left. Like, this one is down and to the right instead of up and to the right to, to increase. Oh, I was thinking up and to the left. Oh, you were thinking up and to the left if they decrease business taxes? If taxes are lowered, that means businesses will produce more. Right. Which means supply will become greater. I guess I'm just confused about what that looks like on the graph. I get what it, what difference it makes. Think of going away from the origin. That's what the we further mean. out here okay. is growing. Here is, you're going closer to... Okay. So that makes sense. Yeah. That's, that's what it's going to... That's what kind of hosed me over on the last test. Was like, oh, really? I understood most of the concepts, but like, you didn't know how to shift it. Figuring like, out what what it looks like on the graph. That's uh -huh. what me. Yeah, dang. Let's do that. Yeah, that's how you. Uh, further away from the origin you get is growing. That okay. means growing. Um, okay, so let's say uh, we had a change in technology that we can produce faster. What's that going to shift it right? Right. It's going to shift it down to the right. What's an input price? Input price, price. So, like, say we make pizza, and uh, cheese is cheaper. Okay. So, what's happening with input? Pr what's going to happen? Happen to the supply? It'll go right because more produce at the Yeah, because well, it's cheaper, right? So our marginal costs are decreasing, our marginal revenue is increasing, our profits are increasing because costs. So we're going to shift it. To, we're going to produce more. So anytime, I remember Brother Webb gave us some like super long, well not super long worksheet, but he gave us this worksheet that we were supposed to determine if it was aggregate supply or aggregate demand and if it was going to go left or right. And basically what I gathered, he never said this, but what I gathered, maybe I'm wrong, um, was anytime we're dealing with supply, we're dealing with business, anytime it's demand, we're dealing with the consumer. Yep. Okay. That's that's kind of that's yeah, basically because businesses who supply is do consumers supply anything? No, we only buy. We demand. Same thing with supply and demand. Like businesses supply, consumers demand. The only difference here is it's over. It's aggregate. It's over the whole economy. It's not just like one pizza market or one market for cars. It's over everything. So could but so like obviously a consumer's not gonna supply anything, um, but businesses could that affect the demand the aggregate demand curve, um, like business consumption, like investing, and in, yeah, investing would affect aggregate demand. Okay. If if businesses were to um, borrow more money because they wanted to enhance their technology or they wanted to increase. Uh, research and development that would shift aggregate demand because they're pay they're spending money to you know to f to for a good or service right they're spending the money they're they're borrowing so investments popping up which affects our C plus I plus G which increases the aggregate demand all right so you guys good with those yeah. short run. Okay, let's do long run shifters now. Um, this is like, uh, I don't know how to word them. Do you have them on your notes? One right. is like finding a new resource, some new resources. I don't know how yeah. to better Slow word that. Right. Yeah, yeah, Re read them to me so that they're- Is that short run? Not, no, long run. We're looking at long run shifters. <clears throat> So I remember capital, amount of capital, will be a long run shift. And supply shocks slash gains, I don't know how to, what does it say in there? Because that'll. Um, that might be a different unit I'm looking at. We'll do supply. There we go. Gains. Long run supply. economic growth. <clears throat> I've got like a dozen pages for every.
Oh, you didn't? Okay, well, are you going to, like, or have you passed it? It's not even, it's not anywhere in the textbook either. Oh, really? Maybe Brother Webb doesn't require it. We, we talked about it when I took it. I didn't take it from Brother Webb, though. Brother Webb is a really good teacher, though. <clears throat> There's a, I'm just going to put supply gains or slash shocks. There, it seems like there's a, one more, but I can't remember what the last one was. Long run aggregate supply shifters. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got technology, levels of labor, levels okay. of capita. That's right. Levels of capital. Capital. Mm -hmm. Yeah, levels of labor. That was the other one I was thinking. Technology. Goes into, which also kind of goes into capital as well. Anyway, these things are long run shifters. So here's our long run. It'll shift our long run right or left. So like if there's like, let's say we used up all our oil, it would shift it to the left. Let's say we found a new oil reserve, like a big oil, massive oil reserve, it would shift it to the right. Uh, let's say that our there's like a the internet is a great um, example of a long run aggregate supply shifter. So the aggregate and it aggregate supply. technology. I thought aggregate supply was horizontal. No, that's the that's when it's perfect. You're thinking of it. It's never perfectly horizontal. You're talking aggregate about demand. aggregate supply. Aggregate su supply is always vertical. Yeah. So is the long run aggregate demand the one that's horizontal? There's never a long, it's never horizontal. It's only horizontal in like perfectly competitive markets. And that's in one, th those are 150 concepts. It's not in. So why have I seen that? I did, I did see that too somewhere. It was like a line that went straight across yeah, and then like. Line. Are you guys talking about like, huh? I know it's a 150 concept, maybe you guys were going over one of those, but that's when, that's basically saying that um, no matter what the price is, you're still always going to demand you know, that much. And the market sets the price, so you can't, the supply won't ever change the price. They can either supply less or more, but the price is always the same. Okay. Anyway. All right, so amounts of capital. It's going to shift it to the right. Amounts of capital. So if we invest in like more pizza chains or more food stands, There's going to be that's more. not capital. That's not going to do anything. But if we're investing, like if the government is buying bridges and roads, like that's capital. So when we invest in capital, we're planning for the future. We're, you know, those, like I'm not going to consume a cheeseburger and it's gone. Like it's, I'm going to. Yeah spend money on something that's going to last. That's capital. So whenever we invest in capital, it's just the long run aggregate supply to the right. Mm -hmm. And then supply gains Slash, that was it to the right and then shock shifted to the left. Uh huh. Levels of labor. Levels of labor, like labor. population. If that we have more labor, you have more people that are able to produce and work, it's going to shift it to the right. Whereas and if there's less. less. And then improvements <laughs> in technology also to the right. Mm -hmm. Okay.